You know, did you have one? Yeah. Um, can you say the difference again between these golden ones and the other ones? The golden ones is the ones from yeah. from. Yes, yeah, so I'll show you. Um, so as you can see, this this one's ITA pre litigation manager. The golden one is a percentage. Um, so as you can see, the potential billings is three and a half grand. And the reason why it could be two and a half grand, though, to be fair, because this is the salary bracket. So it's 10 percent of the actual salary. And in recruitment notes, you've got 10 percent of the annual salary rebate period. Just how, it, how it's uh, laid out in them terms of agreement, you know, in, in that document that we send out to these potential clients, it'll say 50 percent of the fees payable after 30 days, 25 after 60 days and the final 25 after 90. But um, and sorry, that so that is the golden ones. Now, the other ones are fixed fees. So these ones are where it's just a fixed fee. So if I click on accounts administrator. So potential billings is a thousand pound. Um, so it says here thousand pound. Uh, sorry, not 100 percent of the fees payable within 30 days of a rebate. So you've only got to wait 30 days and you get a thousand pound for that candidate. So that, that that's what the, the difference is between that. Oh, bearing in mind that it is 50-50 on here as well. Um, so whatever you see in potential billings is half of that as well, guys. Mm -hmm. Okay. Obviously, that's why I do want you to build on your own list because when you get your own clients, there is more value in that. Um, you've got a bet that the split's more in your favour um, and obviously you can negotiate higher than just 10%. Um, but as you know, like I told you before, th this new guy is going for a 12 and 15 as well. So you will see a lot more uh, better percentage rates on here as well. Um, a lot of these golden leads, will you'll see a lot more of these frequently. But um, but yeah, sorry, uh, did you have a question as well, Bridget? Uh, yes, I actually forgot now. Just... <laughs> sorry. <laughs> 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 so let me know if it comes back to you all right okay anybody else any questions so when, when we have uh, a client uh, we can put the uh, the offer there on on this here on the job ads leads or well, uh, if well, we want yeah i mean this is what i've done yes yeah. so i mean i've literally gone so this is pre-litigation fee owner as you can see, this job description is exactly what I've posted on my leaflet here. Um, so we are in need of a pre-litigation fee earner. Uh, job specification for both is the same as follows. As you can see, if I go back to the lead centre, it's exactly what it says here. Um, obviously, I've just changed. I've taken out the bullet points and paragraphed it so it looks a lot neater, um, and just put it into this into this nice looking leaflet here and posted it. Um, and like I said, these can be found in Job Bank University and in Entrepreneur. That one I've posted there is the wrong one for that, though, because if you're going to post on LinkedIn, like I said before, it's this one here just underneath uh, WhatsApp and email. You've got social media squares. So this one's for posting on Facebook, LinkedIn. Oh, well, look at that. It moves. So I didn't know that. Um, and obviously Instagram as well you can post on. Uh, but the email and WhatsApp, this one is for, um, for for emailing, obviously, and sending on WhatsApp. But uh, but yeah, that's that's obviously if you want to you you know if you want again candidate attraction and you want to get some uh, candidates in, then you know it may be another way of uh, resourcing for you, especially for some of these roles that are already on the lead centre because you've already got a job description to go off, and there's you know there's no harm in just posting ads out there on on social media if you can you know join uh, job groups you know in that area um you know if you can on facebook and post them in there um you know and just get them out there and, and gain as many candidates as you can obviously headhunting what i would do is when looking for people on linkedin so say pre-litigation fee earner is what i'm looking for if i wanted to go on linkedin and type in pre-litigation actually i'm just gonna read that out no actually i'm gonna put that in pre-litigation let me look at people so we've only got 108 it's a very specific term though is pre-litigation fiona all right but we've got some people that are close enough to bolton which is where the role is so i'm going to type in manchester area 
actually it's already there for me. And the sequence of messages we need to send on LinkedIn as well. Say that again, Bridget, sorry. The sequence of messages we need to send. Uh, is there should it be a format? Oh, you mean for LinkedIn, LinkedIn for messaging LinkedIn. on LinkedIn? Yeah, LinkedIn. I mean, what I do is once I've connected with someone, if it, if they haven't, you know, I usually send them a connection note, and if they haven't responded back to me, I usually follow up with another note, um, you know, prompting people. So I can show you here an example. So like this dude here, um, let me just make it big. Um, you know, hi Craig, thanks for accepting my connection request. Can I ask you open to dis discussing new opportunities? Uh, however, um, sorry, I understand if you're not actively looking. However, from looking at your LinkedIn profile, I can tell you the ideal candidate. And I just go on basically prompting him to respond back to me. And if they don't respond back to me again, I'll hit them with another message. Um, you know, to the point where they respond back to me and say, I'm not looking. And if they say I'm not looking, then that's fine. I'll leave them alone. But the response I'm looking for is, right, well, let me hear what you've got. Um, once they've said that, then, you know, I go into what job roles I've got for them. Yeah. You all right with that, Bridget? Yeah, the question I wanted to ask is, uh, do we need to call the candidate to qualify them? Or because yeah. I see you just only message them on Indeed. Is that yeah. one enough to qualify them? Yeah, you can qualify them on Indeed. Um, I preferably would like to speak to them, though. Um, you know, you you want to speak to your candidate more than anything because you want to get to know them and if they're going to be right for your client and stuff. So get them on the phone if you can. Yeah, but some of the solicitors are just a bit bossy. They just like I don't know. Yeah, they are. They are. But don't really you get you get used to this. I mean, you know, I know you're already working on some of Tabor's roles, aren't you? So you know you, you'll get used to the lingo and stuff. It all takes practice. I, I started out as an IT recruiter and I didn't know anything about IT at all until I actually started speaking to candidates and I got to know more about that market um, and more about softwares and stuff like that. It will, it will come within time, don't worry. Really. Just, you, you just got to give yourself a try at it and speak to these people. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, but, yeah, so, guys, I mean, free litigation, fee earner, um, housing disrepair, not quite what I'm after, uh, more personal injury than anything. But let's just – oh, personal injury, there you go. Um, but, yeah, so this person, you know, what I would say if I was connected, I am going to connect with her, actually. Uh, I am going to add a note. Where are my LinkedIn connection notes? One second. Um, let's use this one. Mina and not solicitors, fee earners in resourcing. Opportunities favor your career, but I saw there's been a box. If not, still like to connect to fair opportunities, that may be of interest. Thanks, Mac. Great, that's great. So, sent that to Tasmina. Uh, hopefully Tasmina gets back to that, accepts my connection request. And I'll do the same again. If she doesn't message me, I'll prompt her with a message and say, what's going on, Tasmina? Thank you for accepting my connection request. Are you open to discussing new opportunities? If she does and she says, yes, I'd like to see a job description, then I'm going to take you back to Craig Ackers again because this looks it looks disgusting when you see it. I'll be honest with you. Um, when you're copy and pasting just a job spec like I have here, as you can see, doesn't look nice, does it? So I want us to start dressing these job descriptions up and making them look professional. That's why it's better if we use these guys. OK, the um, not this one. So uh, this one. Yeah. So obviously I could I could send. Rather than sending this because it is just it doesn't look as good. It would be better to send a picture of the actual job description. Just looks a lot more legit from us anyway, from our side. And that's what I'll be sending to Tasmina anyway, once I get to speaking to her. But um, but yeah, is anybody else any other questions in regards to resourcing on these jobs on the lead centre? Yeah, 